All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start modeling another object here. We're going to model a pair of speakers for our computer scene. So let's go ahead and hit Alt-6 to open up our image clip viewer. And I'm going to go ahead and import an image. And I actually have an image here of some speakers. I'm going to go to zoom in 2x so I can see it better. And we're going to go ahead and create these speakers here using uh, polygons. So we have some complex shapes here we have to do. We have to do this uh, entire piece right here. And then we have to do these individual pieces of the speakers and everything that goes in there, all these details and knobs and things. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but it's going to be fun at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a polygon cylinder. I'm going to knock down the subdivisions in the V in the base. And I'm also going to turn up the U subdivisions to 24. And I'm going to flip this over 90 degrees on its side. I'm going to pull it up. And I'm also going to increase the radius there. It's going to make it bigger, fatter. I'm going to turn off the grid because it's getting in my way. Okay. Now I have to take all the polygons that are here from the half point down and extrude them. So I'm basically going to take this polygon here and take all of those right there so I have from the half points. I'm going to extrude that and pull it down a bit. Then I'm going to right click and go to select adjacent points. And I'm going to go ahead and take COG off so I can snap that to the grid so I get straight. And I'm going to pull that up a bit so it's pretty close to the top part up here. Which leaves us with this sort of um, top shape here, which matches up with what we have right here. So that's what we're going to work with. Okay, so what we need to do is just go in here, delete these polygons on the bottom. We don't need them anymore. And we'll take this guy up here. Let's freeze modeling on him. And let's go ahead and duplicate him, move it down. I'm going to flip this duplicate around like so. One thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and turn on wireframe on shade. I'm going to move that and get it really close about there. Then I'm going to select both of these, alt and right click, and go down to merge. And I'm going to turn down my tolerance here. And I'm going to hide the original. And I'm going to turn up my tolerance real, uh, to a real small amount to where I lose the blue boundaries, which shows me that it's merged into one actual object. And I'm going to delete the original. We don't need any more. We look at our reference image and look at what we have. We have something that follows the exact shape that we have here, the overall shape for the speakers. We already have been able to achieve that. Now what we have to do is go ahead and achieve this shape here and start getting these details in, which is actually going to be pretty easy to do. I'm going to select these polygons here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to rip them off and I'm going to keep the old ones. And I'm going to move it in front like this. I'm going to freeze modeling on it. I'm going to select the polygons there. I'm going to extrude them and pull them out a bit. Not doesn't have to be too much. Something like that is good. So now we're going to start to create this piece that goes here and follows that right there. So let's go into our front view here. And we're going to have to scale this down try to get that same distance there and whatnot. So we're going to get something like this because we need a pretty good width up here but a thin area over here on the side. So you can see we got the width and a thin area right there on this side which is good actually. It's exactly where I want it. Okay, now what we have to do is look at this and we have to go ahead and mimic some of these shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and create a hole here for this shape to take place. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So if these polygons selected, I'm going to make a hole right there in the middle. So I'm going to hit Control D and turn on COG. And I'm going to scale that down. I have to scale it down a pretty good amount of width here, which is even on all sides. And it looks like I actually have it right there. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to extrude again, push it inward, just to get kind of this little tiny area right there. And I'm going to just pull that in a little bit. And what I have to do here, I'm going to extrude. And this time I'm not going to push it in, I'm actually going to push it out. So you're going to see it right here. Instead of pushing it in, it's going to be pushed out like that. I'm going to extrude again and push it back out. Or backwards, I should say. To about here. And i got to try to start to get some of the shape uh, roughed in. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'm actually going to do is push this back pretty deep. I'm going to extrude again and scale this in. Then I'm going to extrude again and pull it back out. Leave a little distance right there, which is going to mimic that hole right there, that distance. Once we do that, I'm going to try to get this uh, edge ring shape that's out there. So I'm going to extrude again, scale it in, start to push it in, something like that. Then I'm going to need another one right there. So I'm going to extrude again pull it out a little bit, extrude again, scale it in, and push it in just a bit. And then what I'm going to do is scale that in maybe a little bit more, push it in a little bit more. And I have this area right there. Now it's just a matter of coming in here and getting some of this detail in. scale it in a little bit more extrude again push it in we we'll start to get this area right here so I'm going to start to scale it in push it back extrude again scale it in push it back even further like that Now I'm going to have to start to get this hole that's right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Scale this in. I'm trying to get the size of the hole here. So it actually looks pretty good right there. I'm going to push it in a bit. Something like that. Now i got to get this kind of hole right in there. So to achieve that, I'm going to hit Control D. Instead of extruding in, I'm going to extrude out. So I'm going to be extruding outward like that. Then control D again and push it back. That's going to be the back of the hole. So I'm actually going to push that back uh, quite a bit. Something like that's going to be pretty good. Okay, that's fine. alright that's good so we have that one done that's complete alright now what I need to do is make a few uh, changes here and whatnot so I'm gonna take these polygons down here I'm gonna right click extract keep the old ones freeze modeling I'm going to go to my side view here and move this right about here so it's right on top. I want to make sure it's lined up right here in this area. So it is. Okay. Now I'm going to take these polygons here and I'm going to extrude them. I'm going to extrude them here so that it's lined up with this right here, see that? Alright, 
Now obviously the bottom part has to be a lot smaller. So let's go ahead and scale this down. Select the entire object first. Sorry about that. And let's go into a front view here. Let's draw a wireframe on shaded so we can see this better. Bring up our reference image. And we can see there's a good distance here and down there. Let's go ahead and scale this down even more. To about here I think is good. And then we'll bring it up. Right there is good. So let's go ahead and see how we can connect these two parts together. Alright. We need to connect this and this together, which is actually going to be a lot easier to do than you think. So let's take both of them, Alt and right click, and let's merge them first of all. I'm going to take the tolerance off. And I'm going to delete the original. Don't need any more. And I'm going to freeze modeling of this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select some polygons here. I'm going to select from that polygon to that polygon. And then I'm going to select this one. And shift alt select that one there. So I have these right here. And these right here. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to hit bridge. And it's going to connect it all together. See that? But it's going to create these polygons back here. So I'm going to select those polygons and delete them because we don't need them. They're never going to be visible anyway. Then I'm going to take these two edges and delete them. And what I'm going to do is go to Modify, Polygon Mesh. I'm going to use this tool, the Add Edge tool. And I'm going to click there. Then I'm going to click there. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click there and right click. Okay. I'm going to take this and that and this and that. I'm going to hit Shift D to split it one time down the middle. I'm going to select those two edges. I'm going to right click and I'm going to bevel. I'm going to give it one division. Actually, um, I messed up right there. Let's take it, grab the selection, take the bevel up, and delete it. So then I'm going to select these two. I'm going to scale them in on each other like this. And now that they're scaled in on each other, now I'm going to go ahead and bevel them. Increase the distance, give it about one subdivision. Okay, that's good. And now what we end up with here is an end gun. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, which is no good. So I'm going to select this edge. Alt and select that one. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to subdivide edges evenly. I'm going to subdivide that twice. And now, simply what I'm going to do, use the add edge tool. And I'm going to come in here and start to create my quads. So now we have quad, quad, and a quad. So let's do the same thing over here on this side. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to freeze modeling. Now we have to create the area over here, which is going to be this hole, which is actually going to be pretty easy to do. Select these. Control D to extrude. I'm going to scale that down. Let's look at my reference here. And I'm going to scale that down to quite a bit. It's actually going to be pretty small. Something like something like this. Looks about right. Okay. So I'm going to extrude this inward a little bit. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. You can see it has to make a pretty deep hole in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit Control D to extrude that again. And again, I'm not going to extrude it down. I'm going to extrude it outward like this. I'm going 
gonna hit control D to extrude that again and I'm gonna pull it back like that to leave a hole now I need to fix this area here because you can see it's looking really bad so that's easy to fix what to do is select one of these edges alt middle click one of those to select loop right click make hard edge vertex right there and now it's fixed okay freeze modeling on that make sure you save okay now what I'm going to do is create these little spear objects that are right there in the middle which is going to be really easy to do so go to primitive polygon mesh sphere rotate this sphere on its side I'm going to increase the amount of subdivisions to 24 and 24 close that scale it down Okay. Now, what I need to do is snap this sphere to the center vertex that's right there because if we select that, there's a vertex right there. See that one right there? Well, to do that, it's going to be really easy. We select the sphere, make sure that our point snapping is turned on, and then simply hold down control and snap it onto that vertex, which is a little bit hard to do. it's right there so once you snap it onto that vertex it's really really easy we just scale this down push forward maybe we flatten it down just a little bit look at our reference it's sticking out a good amount I think like that is actually pretty good maybe we'll scale it down a little bit And there we go. I think I think it's pretty good. Okay. So now we're going to take this guy here, control D to duplicate him. And what we need to do is snap him to that vertex in there. So, snap him there. Okay. Move him forward. See how the little uh, sphere is right there. And that actually looks pretty good there we go we're done with that then okay so we're gonna take this this and this and we're gonna move it into the speaker here we end up with a problem and the problem is that these polygons are getting in the way of where the hole supposed to be So what we need to do is create a hole there, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to select all of these polygons, okay, hit control D to extrude, I'm going to extrude it down, that's going to be our hole. I'm going to go into the front view here, go to wireframe, and the center of the hole has to be in the center of the hole here, which is where the sphere is right there. So I'm going to move it down. To about here and it doesn't really have to be so accurate now I'm gonna hit control D and push it inward really far back to give us a lot of room so now we have this hole inside there All right now this is what's gonna happen push this in uh, we can see that the hole is actually not big enough it has to be bigger so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to Grow to selection one time. Okay. And you can see it's interpenetrating down here. So I'm going to go to scale mode and I'm going to scale just in the y and the x axis. 
and scale it up to the point where that red goes away. See, so now it's not interpenetrating and it's fixed. We need to do the same down here. So, same procedure. Grab all these polygons right there, which are all these. Control D, duplicate, scale it down. We'll go into the front view here, go to wireframe, move it up to about here. And in this case, we can make this smaller, it doesn't have to be so big. Control D to duplicate and push it back. We'll push it back over here. So right there, it's not passing through there. So we got that done. So let's select everything. Let's freeze modeling. In the next video, we'll create this bottom section here, and we'll create all these little details, these little uh, divots and little screws and things that will bring out the detail in this thing and make it look even more realistic.